Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Bernard. I'm the co-founder of Evocure, a new Belgian cosmeceutical brand I have co-founded with Gabrielle. Today, I will introduce you to Mary. No clickers. Uh, I'm waiting for Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Voilà. Mary today is 30 years old. And like all of us, she will grow old and look like on the second picture when she will be 60. <laughs> but like all of us, we want to slow down this fatality, whatever the cost. Therefore, she turns to traditional cosmetics who promise her heaven. First, she succumbs to their amazing messages advertising. Then she starts to believe their promises and at the end, she spends a lot of money in their expensive products. But finally, she's disappointed because she hasn't the expected outcome. But for Mary, we have developed Evocure. <laughs> Evocure is an honest, transparent cosmetic brand who will offer Mary lasting and visible results on aging spots, wrinkles, hair loss. How do we achieve that? First of all, we only use active ingredients, active principles, for which there is at least 15 independent scientific or medical studies that have shown their efficiency. Secondly, we use these active ingredients in very high concentration, up to 22% compared to the average 1%. And at last but not least, as you can see, we are the only brand that has nothing to hide. All the active ingredients and their concentration are mentioned on the packaging and in the communication, which allows pharmacists and doctors to advise our, prod or, our product in full awareness easily. Evocure today is a product range of 12 products. We have a close partnership with the two major chain of pharmacies in Belgium, Multipharma and Lloyd's Pharma. We have a monthly turnover of almost 15,000 euros monthly. We have almost 50 sales points in Belgium and Luxembourg. Today, we want to raise 250,000 euros, 150,000 through crowdfunding, 100 through private investors, to extend and professionalize our sales force, and to invest in direct marketing and communication to improve our branding and awareness to create more demand. Within three years, we hope to have a team of eight people to be present in five countries and maybe to export to the Middle East and Asia, to have 350 points in Belgium and Luxembourg and the neighbor countries, to have a product range of 15 products and have a turnover of almost uh, 4 million. So thank you for your intention and please invest in the cosmetic brand of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Bernard. Congratulations. Now we turn to the members of the jury. Can we please have your questions? Yeah, I have a first question. Uh, you and your partner, Gabriel, I think. Yep. Uh, what makes you the good people to do this? Because you didn't explain us the, the relationship between you and your profile and this business. Okay, you have to know that Evocure has been developed by uh, uh, aesthetic doctors together with a pharmacist who is specialized in production of cosmeceuticals, so products that are between cosmetic and medical products, very effi efficient. Um, Gabriel, is, so my partner, is more in charge of all the operational, the product, supervising the development, and I'm in charge of all that's related to sales and marketing. So we are really complementary. You, you talked that, uh, about the fact that your product has 22% of active elements where the others have only 1%. Yeah. My first gut feeling is your product must be very expensive. No. <laughs> That's just, I think, one of our major competitive advantage. It's, for what it is, it's very cheap. Because you will pay, on average, 50 euros for the products. As you've seen on the first slides, there are some products that you can sometimes pay 300 euros in uh, perfumeries and, and so on. So 50 euros is in the average upscale in pharmacy. It's David against Goliath. You are a small <laughs> company and you are, you are facing really big boys. 
what makes you so confident that you will be able to survive in that very competitive environment? Because we are not facing Goliath. We are different. We are positioning ourselves as cosmeceuticals. It's something that is existing in the US. There are major brands. L'Oreal has bought one some three or five years ago. It has bought one in the US. And this is something that is booming in the US. Cosmetics in the cosmeceuticals in the US represent 18% of the anti-age market. And it's the highest growing segment in the anti-aging uh, market in the US. And we are sure that in the coming years, it will be something that will be very common. And we are the first one today. Are you producing yourself? You have your own unit of production? For the moment, we are subtract contracting the production. So we develop the product, but we subtract, uh, subcontract it to a, a pharmaceutical uh, laboratory uh, who can make them. And we hope in one year or two years to make our own lab, to, to produce ourselves. Hope is not a strategy, eh? It's planned, but it depends on the volumes. You cannot have your own lab if you don't obtain a certain uh, volume. And because you're very transparent, how are you going to protect yourself? Because you show everything you're doing. Anyone who has deeper pockets, like the Goliaths, can replicate it very, very quickly. They could replicate it, but all our value chain is quite different. It's somehow different than the others. I think if major companies want to do the same thing as us, the prices would, will not be the same. And I think we have at least nine months to 10 months, I one year advance before someone could do something similar. But we have also our own technologies in the basis that made our product also very um, uh, fun to, to use. They are not, uh, it's not medical, it's really, you have also a lot of pleasure because cosmetics, when you use it, when you spend money, you want to result, but it has to stay nice when you put it on your skin. You look very young, what's your age? <laughs> 55. <laughs> it was a real question. It was a real question. I'm 31. <laughs> 31. Okay. Um, Simon, my friend, I can see you also have a real question. Yeah, I do have a real question. Uh, are you also planning to open an online distribution center for online purchases? Uh, w the products are available online, but for the moment we focus mainly with our collaboration with the major cha pharmacy chains like Multifarma. We focus on the point of sales because we think advice is important for such products. Um, so we have it, it's going to be developed in the coming months and coming years, but the focus now is really to build up a partnership because you know distributors, if you start with a very offensive uh, online strategy, they don't really like it, so we have to be, yeah, find a good equilibrium with this. With this. Okay, thank you. I have one final question. You talk about five countries and you say that you are medical, well, it's not very clear, no. uh, between medical and cosmetics. Do you need to have local agreements in each of those countries to be able to sell your products by the health uh, authorities? Our products are, um, as cosmetic brand, we have to introduce uh, all the procedure to the European Commission and everything, all products are EU conformed. So we can sell in all the uh, European countries. Uh, it's not a problem. Thank you very much, Bernard. Thank you. It was, once again, a difficult exercise and you did it fantastically. I think, just like Christophe, you look the part of your business. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs>